Well, oil giant BP British Petroleum says China is going to overtake the United States as the world's top oil consumer by 2035. That's in 20 years' time. But according to BP, the outlook demand for OPEC oil will remain low. The firm says that that is a consequence of a projected slowdown in developing Asian economies. CCTV's Richard Bestick reports from London. When oil prices collapsed last year, jobs were on the line. BP believes, however, demand for oil will ultimately outpace supply as economic growth continues worldwide. Much of that increase in the demand for energy will come from developing economies, those economies which are going to grow most rapidly over the next 20 years, particularly China and India. The world demand for oil will gradually pick up. And over a period of time, this current weakness will, will gradually dissipate. Strengthening demand, though, could take several years, says BP, while oil analysts warn the industry can behave unpredictably. Commodity markets are volatile, and they're not just volatile because of the primary energy demand. They're also volatile because there's so much financial money tied up in it. Significantly, medium and longer-term price trends were an aspect of the report which left some experts wanting more. They didn't share that, um, but th that's understandable. But the, but, the, but the fundamental point is whether the market has fundamentally changed as a result of the Saudi policy being to no longer balance the rest of the market. It was at the OPEC meeting in Vienna last year that Saudi Arabia persuaded other oil producers to maintain production levels. That, together with a fracking boom of shale gas and oil in the US and lower demand, contributed to tumbling prices. Within 15 years, though, according to BP, demand for OPEC oil will return to exceed its 2007 high of 32 million barrels a day. In an uncertain world, perhaps the wisest words in the report were that volatility is the new normal. Richard Bestick, CCTV at BP Headquarters, London.